You know, I heard that behavior follows perception. And so if you really want to change your behavior or change the behavior of somebody else, you need to be able to create a new mindset, a new perception, a new meaning, a new interpretation over a situation. And that's why I think storytelling has become so, so important these days because it helps connect people to a particular emotion because they are reliving a story that you tell them or it evokes a story that they have in their own life. It's a great leadership tool that I would highly suggest that people use more of. However, there's two more things about storytelling that I think are very, very important that help shift people's perception and ultimately change behavior. One, take a look at those kind of stories that you tell yourself that are not positive. Those things that have been hanging on for a long, long time and see how you can actually change the story to be able to serve your purpose of being able to grow and evolve. So these types of revisionist history activities I think are very, very important because we're making all this stuff up anyway. So might as well just serve ourselves by creating new stories. And then two, Take a look at the future. What kind of stories are you telling yourself regarding the next two years, five years, 10 years? Is that a story that is a compelling one? One that you wanna to move toward? Or one that you feel fearful about? This is extremely important because again, if the concept is that behavior follows perception, then if our perception is that the future doesn't look bright, our behavior will probably follow. So in short, use stories, they're fantastic, but also rewrite the stories that don't serve and start getting more intentional about the future.